Look here. Who's that? It's Johnny Boy. I mean, if there's gonna be a place I'm gonna die, this, this is the place. How often do you run like this, John? How often? Aye. Most days. Whenever I travel and my way running work, I took on my trainers and head on out. If you like me, I need to, like an instant gratification fix of success. Running's the way to do it. Putting a short term bit of effort, you feel good for the rest of the day. No matter what happens, you feel like you've achieved something. It gives me time to plan my day, give my mind to myself. How often do you run? Never. Never? Never. Don't listen to your first no. Your body will try and tell you no. My first no was way back on the bridge. And what are you saying? Saying aye. You're saying what? Aye. Saying what? Aye. Aye. Absolutely. Aye. aye. <laughs> Call this a movement. <laughs> Watch this, we'll people running behind us like Forrest Gump. <laughs> One of my biggest problems running is I tend to get palpitations when I run and that just makes me stop. So you're about half a kilometer from Tay Castle. So you're gonna know just feel good, be healthy, push your boundary, you're gonna see a bit of heritage. Aye. And how much does this cost? Nothing. Free transport. So we've just hit the halfway point and it's Tay Castle. Tay Castle's a landmark took us a halfway and I've made it, I've not stopped yet. John has been pushing me on, despite the snow. Look at this. Three K, so we're past halfway. John's like having fun here, running circles around me. <laughs> Do you find that running gets you to know places better when you're traveling? Love it, culture, history. It sounds stupid, but it makes you remember what matters. Standard nature, we're seeing hello to dog walkers, you're feeling good, the endorphins, the energy, the science behind running, so good for you. The oxygenation of your brain, it brings you alive. Good man, push it, didn't stop, the hill's the worst bit. Fast up the hill, slow down. Give me 15 seconds of energy and then we have a break. Good man. And just go slow tempo, slow tempo. They never stop. We just made it back to the hotel. How far did we go? 10 kilometer run. How many times did you say, like, I need to stop, I need to reach my capacity? Like, well, since we left the complex here. And then what did you say when well, yeah. you said, right, that's capacity? What did I make you do? You made me go on. And what did you do? We just kept going and going. But I, I'm knocking out, but. You know, I'm faster. It's the furthest run you've ever done. I genuinely think it's because I had you pushing me on. But wasn't it? I just made you push yourself. Mindset. It is. But dare, it's good though. Dare to run. No dare business. To run. I did to run. <laughs> Half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Forcing me on. Ten kilometers. Our neighbours. Mm. Funny thing about Scotland is that it can be sunshine one minute and then snow the next. Four seasons in a day as we say. John has taken us on a, a wee woodland walk from Kenmore village up into the wooded forest. Some fresh Scottish air in our lungs. Not as if I need any more of that after the run we went this morning, but adventure everything. I can smell the, the fresh Scottish pine. bit alpine now. We've reached a height and it's started to get a bit snowy in the ground. We've been walking for about what half an hour? 40 yeah. minutes? 40 minutes. 45 minutes. Almost at the top of the hill looking for a good view hopefully. We're just like enjoying the moment of nature and sereneness. I love Scotland. Like I don't know if you can tell from watching these vlogs but I truly love Scotland. 
place like this that most people don't get to see. It's magic. Almost at the viewpoint, the Black Rock viewpoint. You know what? I'm gonna fly the drone and do a drone selfie. Wow. Is that the Black Rock? That's pretty spectacular. That has been waiting for us. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a victory. The victory bottle. Take us off some too. We heard like a wolf back there. No. Seriously? We did. It's like some kind of well or something. Oh, is it not? What is it? Oh yeah, look. It's an abandoned house, I think. Wow, I didn't expect to see this here. Wow. Oh, it's like a castle, isn't it? Unexpected and interesting. It's like a, like a castle. I don't know what it is exactly, but icicles. What the hell was this place? It's got a big tower. Look at that. I need to find out what this place was. back from the the walk up the hill what was that hill called again the black rock kenmore. the kenmore yeah. black hill yeah. black rock hill came straight to the pool <sighs> i feel better now does it feel better i think it feels better make it steam up a bit wow what a day we just had in kenmore i am a bit shell shocked to be honest I've been meaning to do some running and some exercise for a long time and get back into it, but I just limped down the stairs in absolute agony. I think tomorrow I'm going to be suffering a lot. Basically, like, John is such an inspirational guy. He forced me to do a lot of the things today and he pushed me through with a lot of motivational words and said things that made a lot of sense to me as I was running. Like, I didn't think I would make it to the end of the street here when we left this morning and we made it 10 kilometers. Like, that is nuts. And I'm thinking to myself now, in terms of mindset, if I can do a 10 kilometer run, like I could do that every day, even just a shorter one, two kilometers, three kilometers, make it work my, maybe work my way up to five kilometers eventually on a regular basis. Like, I think there's nothing stopping me apart from my mind. Sometimes you just need perspective and someone else to kind of show you that way. And John was definitely that person today. Um, and I really appreciated that. But yeah, what a day. Also that hill walk as well that we did up to the Black Rock. Incredible. So much beautiful scenery here in Scotland that a lot of us take for granted. Like, and we are two hours away from Edinburgh. Uh, it was great that it snowed again today. We weren't expecting another snow trip. We've got a few things up my sleeve that I want to show you guys tomorrow in the next vlog, basically. So until then, adventure everything, right? Have a great night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.